Good morning, Plumro. How are we? Day four of our very different school week this week. But good morning to each and every one of you. Um, I hope you're up about and yeah, getting on with things and keeping yourselves busy, keeping yourselves safe. So um, yeah, lots lots of emails and tweets in um, in the last 24 hours showing us what you've been doing. Uh, enable us to see how hard you're working at home, uh, all the activities that you're getting stuck into and the many, many different varied uh, activities and projects that you're doing. So well done. It's been fabulous to see. As a result, I have three pages of shout outs. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, so same again, if we miss you out, please, you know, don't take it personally. Just get someone to email back from your family and we'll do it the next day. There's a lot of emails coming in, as you'll see in a second. There's a lot of tweets, but we will be committed to shouting out uh, to each and every one of you. You're taking the time to do the work, and you know we want to do that and, and recognise you for that. So thank you. Come on, keep motivated. We're in the second half of the week now. Stay on top of your work. Keep pushing yourselves. Keep you know keep that drive that you've shown uh, this so far this week. So. Let's have a look and let's see who we're shouting out to today. Firstly, Zach W for your Greek house for sale poster. Well done. Rocco N, you've been doing compound words, digraphs and lexia. Sorry I missed you off yesterday, Rocco, uh, but got you on nice and early today. Holly W, you've been doing signs of spring pictures. May W, same house, medium frequency words. Well done, girls, in your house. And two sisters as well, Francesca S and Eloise S. Uh, Viking picture from Francesca and spring picture as well from Eloise in the foundation stage. Uh, brilliant to see so many hand of surprise pictures yesterday, the fruit basket. I hope you enjoyed the story. We'll have another one tomorrow and we had lots of artwork. And one of them was by Ellie S. Um, Gracie J also did it as well. I got those in nice and early and in both houses, Smith and Jarvis, there was lots of work going on uh, all week. So thank you for sharing that. Uh, Dexter W, he's been doing a lot of maths work and a great score with his maths. Sam R, lots of questions and question marks in his English work. Oliver C, working hard on his rock stars. Elliot C, uh, maths and English work. So lots going on there in their house. Matilda, well done for your maths work. Max um, and Sienna in your house. Max has been working on his fractions and sister Sienna was doing her spring tree picture. Uh, Joshua and Rowan in the same house, you know, two brothers in their house. We had a NASA spaceship built with Lego. Well done boys. Archie O, um, He's been working on time in maths and he's been doing o'clock and half past uh, the hour. And thank you to the O household for your kind gift yesterday. Uh, very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, also, Archie, uh, he did a rainbow. And again, great to see lots of rainbows going up now, hopefully in, in, in your windows and in the hospital. So thank you for everyone who's doing that and making people smile and feel good. Fifi, well done for your, um, you and your setting your classmate to challenge to follow the rainbow theme. So well done. Harry B in foundation stage, he's been doing a word search. Mabel was doing a flower collage. Uh, we have Ellie B in year two. She was doing PE in her school kit and lots of schoolwork going on there with her brother. Ethan A in Mrs. Cross and Miss Jones' class, he was doing a spring picture and he drew a house and labelled it. Um, in the Watts house, lots going on there. Time table, times tables, they're following their daily timetable and Dad has been taken on the PE. So well done to Sky, Brooke and Romy. Um, Isabel and Georgia, in your house, you've been on a treasure hunt. You've been walking in the woods, you've been biscuit making. Isabel's doing, been doing Spanish and Georgia has been drawing labels um, for a house, so well done. Leo B has been doing his maths work and independent writing. Grace and Oliver in their house. Grace has been doing her eight times table and Oliver has been doing spring work on phonics as well. Page two. Isla C, well done in Mrs. Turner's Mrs. Curtis class for your Spanish work. 
Uh, Erin and William in your house. Erin has been doing a key stage one arithmetic test and got 22 out of 25. William has been doing expanded noun phrases. Chloe E has been doing number work and reading three books. Well done. Alicia and Summer. Alicia has been doing maths and seed planting and Summer has been doing arithmetic and science. Louis and Harley in your house. Louis and Harley have been doing phonics, writing, fractions and making rock cakes. Hopefully we're nice boys. Max M has been working through his timetable and helping his mum who needed that help. So well done Max, that's what I asked for on Monday. Henry B in year two, he's been doing colours in Spanish, he's been doing Lexia and he's been doing hit the button. Speaking of hit the button, we are off there next after this uh, shout out. Charlie and Molly P, they've been doing PE, they've been doing rainbows and they've been writing and to their great grandparents. Well done to you too. Right, uh, Matthew, Louisa, Nathan in your house, lots of fitness going on and Nathan has been doing dinosaur work as well. Uh, Matthew's been doing space facts and Louisa has been doing a diary writing on gardening. Jessica L in Mrs. Miles' class, she's been doing the fruit bowl picture, well done. Big shout out to Mrs. Bailey's class uh, from one of the class members there. I think that was Grace, yes it was Grace. All working hard in Mrs. Bailey's class, well done. Right, Freddie and Poppy and Ruby, all working hard in your, in your house. Freddie's been doing his reading and PE at the same time. Poppy has been doing spring cleaning in the garden and Ruby has been doing her resilient reader. Zach J has been baking a cake for fractions. That is a good way of doing it. Thomas B has been doing his Egyptian history work. Erin and George in their house. George has been doing invention work and Erin has been doing bar graphs. Well done. Oliver L, fabulous fruit basket, well done. Ruby G in year six has been working on the digestive system work, well done. Eve A has been doing uh, PE, Spanish, maths, well done Eve. Harvey C has been doing lots on his Lexia, spellings, PE and number work. And Finley and Theo in their house, Finley's been doing maths activities, uh, he's been doing census writing and Theo has been doing the time for maths and he's been doing writing, so well done. Izzy R has been doing lots of maths work and clauses in English. Lenny W has been doing time again in maths. He's been reading and who else have we got? Noah and Teddy. Um, Noah has been doing his Nintendo fact file and Teddy has been doing the writing about spring. Lenny, I think I missed your sibling off, who's resilient reader and maths booklet. So I'll get that one right, I think, tomorrow. Sanjay, well done for your artwork and fitness. Emily S, fruit basket and maths. Well done. Another fruit basket was done by Callie B. So thank you for taking up that challenge. Ethan A has been doing letters of the day in his writing. Everly has been doing spring writing. And Sister Maisie has been doing story writing. Well done, girls. Another fruit basket was done by Lenny. Um, Bella May has been doing the fruit basket as well. And Alfie, her brother, was helping with her maths. Well done. Another fruit basket from Handers Challenge was done by Sienna B. Lila E has been partitioning in maths. Lacey C in year six has been on the digestive process work as well and she has been making bookmarks. Holly S in year six has been doing the digestive process. And another rainbow picture, well done to Layla WB. Amelia and Megan in their house, they've been doing Spanish, maths, English, and lots of Joe Wicks work. Mia and Jack C in their house have been doing another one, cooking activity, we've been having a few of those this week, and they did their division through baking. Oliver D has been doing his times table rock stars. Fleur G has been planting sunflowers and making banana bread. Betsy has been doing maths and she's been doing the heaviest to lightest challenge. And a shout out to Betsy's brother. Fletcher, can you stop refusing to put your work on here please? And can you start putting some of yours on as well to show me that you are working? Evelyn and Laurel, well done, you've been working hard in your English. Ollie S has been doing art tutorials through YouTube. 
Fabulous, Ollie. Well done. We saw how good your art was last week when you won the colouring competition. Sophie D in EYFS has been practising her tricky words and she's been doing number work and books in the woods. Fabulous. And Olivia N has also done the fruit basket challenge. Nearly there. Uh, Nancy and Sonny in their house. Nancy's been making pizzas for dinner and Sonny has been telling the time. In the wall house, they have been pond life dipping. Well done. That must have been good fun. Finley G has been doing the Joe Wicks workouts with a fractured arm. Well done, Finley. Sam P has been measuring shadows. Oliver P has made a solar system from paper mache. Riley N has been doing all his daily tasks and working hard. Jack P has been doing a nice community thing and he's been putting a note on NHS workers' cars near his house saying um, what a great job they're doing, what a nice touch. And that is being big hearted, isn't it, Jack? So well done to you. Franklin has been doing the spring work in the foundation stage. Well done, Franklin. Oliver H in year six has been doing his science. And last but not least, Lainey W has been doing her morning workouts with her dad. And then she's been off to the challenge at work during the day. If I have missed anyone out who sent it in, Send it back to me, please. Um, we obviously had a lot there, but it's fabulous. I want to shout out to everybody, and we'll do some more tomorrow. So all I can say from you, uh, Plum Road, is just keep going. Look how much work um, I'm seeing that's going on at home. It's fabulous. We've been getting great emails and tweets in from your parents saying how much it's helped you doing this work, the structure of it. So come on, keep going. Uh, Thursday into the last day tomorrow, and then you've got the weekend you know, to have some time for yourselves. But thank you. Come on, keep going. Uh, we're right behind you on this, supporting you, and we will keep doing the shout out. So from here, you know where we're going now. It's challenge time. It's times tables. It's hit the button. I'm the best. I'll set the score that won't get beaten. Doesn't matter what you think um, in the mile household. I am the best now, and I'm going to prove it with the score that I am going to set. So off to hit the button let's go here we go hit the button challenge time on thursday so you can see if you've not used this game before um it can practice you can practice a whole range of maths activities here and a whole range of number skills today though as you know we are going to do times tables so when you go in to hit the button you can look at um tables up to 10 up to 12. you can pick particular times tables that you might be practicing in class or you just need to get a little bit better at yourself. So you've got a range of programs that you can do there. But we are going to do mixed. So the instruction will be my score will go hopefully flying up there and I'll make no mistakes and I will set a score that nobody can beat. So the jacket is off for this. We are not messing around. Here we go. Right, Mr. Barker, you ready? Ready. Let's go. 54. 6. 90. 35. 30. 44. 35. 20. 44. 30. 80. 6. 54. 6. 44. 54. 49. 35, 20, 6, 44, 35, 30, 2, 54, 2, 80, 2, 55, 20, 80, 21, 20, 35, 54, 6, 21, Six, oh, one wrong. Got the last one wrong. Press the wrong button. 38 is the score to beat. Hopefully that will not be beaten, but the score of 38 is your challenge. So go for it. Have a play around. I'm going to do a personal shout out. I've been doing lots of shout outs this week, but to three of my good friends. Kev, Greg, 
And Ty, I challenge you to beat 38. All right, let's see if you can beat my score. I don't think you will, but have a go anyway, so three of my friends can have a go as well. Right, let's go back for the final message. So there you go, Plumro, 38 to beat. Can you do it? Can you beat my target score? Especially to my shout-out friends who I'm hoping will take the challenge up and try and beat me. So um, I will let you now get back on with your day and I will come and speak to you again tomorrow. Um, keep working hard. You are doing ever so well. And we're really proud of you. Um, and it's been absolutely fabulous to hear what you've been doing. So, um, yeah, enjoy your afternoon. Um, and then we'll speak to you tomorrow. Key stage one, I'm going to read you another story tomorrow. We'll do the shout out and we've got some questions as well, which we'll do. So have a great afternoon. Missing you all. And I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Okay, bye, Plumrow. Bye.